In this video I'm gonna discuss chapter 8 of this book over here. So here are the subjects of this video. I'm gonna show how to create a stress plot with a reference surface, a rotated reference surface. So you can have a look at normal and shear stress in every direction of a part easily with help of solid work simulation. And then I'm gonna check more circle with help of solid work simulation. That's the, the second subject of this video. So I'm gonna switch over to SolidWorks and create a part. There is a part already here. So now I have to uh, create a surface under uh, an angle of 45 degrees to be able to show the result with reference of that surface. So I'm gonna select the surface over here, create a couple of uh, lines in a sketch. So a help line there and a help line over there. And I want to have it under uh, an angle of 45 degrees, exactly. And now with help of that line, I can easily create a reference surface. So I'll show uh, view sketches, create a reference surface like that with this line and this point. And SolidWorks has now got a, a plane that's under 45 degrees relative to the XY surface that you see corresponding to the cor corner system over here. So now with this part I'm gonna create a new simulation study and I'm gonna just run the simulation that I've uh, already run in the previous chapters as well. Uh, a normal stress over here, normal force on the surface and then reverse direction of a thousand Newton like that, so it's a, a tensile stress that's resulting over here. Uh, SolidWorks has already applied the material because it was defined in the part already, so I can just easily run the study. Then I'll get the results. I want to have a look at the stress plot in the x direction. So I'll choose x over here, normal x, normal stress. Like that, and I can probe that. Probe here. Yeah. And it's 1.88 Newton per square millimeter I see over here and I've already done the calculation of that this is the force this is the area and stress in the x direction is the force divided by the area so it's 1.88 Newton per square millimeter that I saw in SolidWorks simulation just now as well so it's the same results luckily in the x direction so now the more circle says that under an angle of 45 degrees, so a rotation of 90, degree, 90 degrees in Mohr circle corresponds to a rotation of a surface of 45 degrees. That's defined like that. So under a, a rotation of 45 degrees, I will have to have the half of the normal stress. You see, you see here for a value of 10 and 5. So half of the normal stress, which I've calculated over here corresponding to that direction and also half of the shear stress on the y-axis so the shear stress is over here normal stress is over here for more circle so this is uh, the stress that I would have to expect for this point so I can uh, just go back to SolidWorks and see if I can reproduce that So switch back uh, this is the normal stress in the x-direction uh, I can easily then uh, copy this plot by using copy and then paste and now it's over here, it's a copied plot and now I'm not gonna have a look at this normal stress in this direction I'm gonna edit the definition and use advanced options to use this surface as a reference the surface that I've uh, created just now uh, b before in this video so I'm gonna have a look at the stress direction with this plane as a reference and I will be rotated for 45 degrees and you will see not much happen in the colors but you'll see the the uh, chart here the the numbers will change and so now it's 1.6 as the minimum value I'm gonna push OK and now it's a uh, uh, 0.6 as the minimum value over here so it's it's halved I can I can see that I've now got this as a reference I can probe this and it's 9.4 e minus 1 so it's 0 0.94 and that corresponds exactly to the calculation that I've done here I've divided this value by 2 
and what you can see is that the normal stress on a plane rotated over 45 degrees which corresponds to the 90 degrees in this uh, graph is exactly half of the original value so the shear stress should be the same value exactly the same value as this one over here so now it's uh, 0 0.94 and I can show you that one as well so I can uh, uh, create a shear stress plot for that I've copied an important image over here as well I want to have a look at tau xz or tau zx I can zoom in a little so that's the shear I want to have a look at and that's the shear that should be halved when I rotate the reference plane over 45 degrees as well so uh, tau xz I should have a look at so generate the result Uh, tau xz this one and it's the same as tau zx which you can see on this image as well and uh, the discussion on that you can find on many websites and you can also read it in the book that I've shown in the presentation before so if I then use no reference the shear will be zero because there's normal stress it, it will be very close to zero but if I do use a reference of the 45 degrees again this one then the angle will have rotated over 90 degrees in more circle and I should get exactly the same value as the, the, normally st the normal stress that I just saw just now so it's a different color but don't let yourself be fooled by that if I probe this plot it's exactly the same number here that I find for the shear stress so it's also half of the original normal stress that I've calculated and that's what you see in more circle over here when you rotate over 45 degree which corresponds to a rotation of 45 degree of a reference angle then the, the normal stress is halved and the shear stress is half of that as well and if I rotate onwards to 90 degrees then there will be no normal stress and also no shear stress and you can uh, you can check that verify that with SOLIDWORKS simulation as well so if, if this surface is rotated onwards to 90 degrees in that direction there's no normal force working and also no shear force and you can also see it on the, the symbols that you see over here in this plot so that was uh, the discussion of this chapter of the book the Morse circle thanks for watching